Lucas Paqueta and uh, Mohamed Kudus, Charlie, I love the bromance. Brazil and Ghana. Charlie, coach, <laughs> what's on the tactical so, It's Ghana always beautiful. Mohamed Kudus. It's always beautiful when you get a chance to, to, to talk about your countryman. You understand? <laughs> and highlight how good he is as a player. So before I tactically analyze this, we just watched it though, but we'll take it one at a time. This is the beginning of the yeah, first so goal. This is the first goal. Now go there. Everybody pause here. Look at this. At this moment, Kudus is not watching the ball. Mm. He's not watching the ball because he clearly believes that Paketa has the ability. He has the ability to pick him up. Watch him. His head is down. Yeah. And look at what he's doing. He clearly understands the gap between the two center backs yeah. of Wolverhampton. So let me just attack the play. Paqueta takes the ball further left and gives a diagonal mm -hmm. into the path of Mohamed Kudus. So the diagonal goes. Now Kudus is in absolute control here. Let's pause it. Could Semedo have done better? Mm -hmm. If I'm the coach of Wolverhampton, I'm analyzing this, he could have done better. On this particular goal, look at the number of Wolverhampton players coming into the picture. One, two. He needed to delay Kudus. Okay. How do you delay Kudus? It's to force him onto what? His unfavorable fault. Yeah. If you look at Kudus's body's posture, Everybody knows he's a left-footed player. Yeah, so he's, he's looking to cut So on. he's looking to come onto that left yeah. foot. And because these guys were coming, all Semedo needed to do here was to make sure he pushed Kudus further right. Okay. He didn't do that. He allowed, the moment he cut across him, that meant that the two Wolverhampton players in focus, as you can see here, were now behind no, they were not in front of the ball, mm. not being so they were completely uh, 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 worthless. They, they, they wouldn't have anything to say about what Kudus would do. And look at the ability of the Ghanaian. The goalkeeper at this moment thought that once he moved onto the left post, he was going far left. Or he was going for the far post. Yeah. But tactically, he is that good. He's got the ability to pick the pass. He's got the ability to strike the ball, and he's got the ability to pick his spot and go for power. This is the diagonal I was talking about from Paqueta. Look at it again. He won. Semedo should have pushed him far. But somebody may argue that the goalkeeper could have done a bit better. Mm -hmm. Because in terms of the gap, that was close to 20, 25 yards. Maybe he should have made a save. But hey, I'm happy. I'm a Ghanaian. If I see my Ghanaian uh, <laughs> brother out there doing yeah, such wonderful like things, I would like it all day. <laughs> and therefore, that was how Mohamed Kudus registered his first goal. Again, it had to do with the huge gap in the Wolverhampton defenders. Now, let's go to the second goal. Kudus 2. It looked very similar. Very, very similar. Watch. Wolverhampton in possession of the ball here. Now, they rolled it. This is Samedo. He tried to pick the pass. Yeah. Zuma intercepts. Intercept. The moment Zuma intercepts, he knows he's not a good passer of the ball. He knows once there's Paqueta, there's Kudus ahead yeah. of me. I have done my job. Yeah, just find Paqueta. Paqueta, take it. And let's see what happens as a result of that. Now, he passes the ball onto Paqueta. Everybody watch again. This again is the same thing I spoke about. I will roll it slightly and I'll pause it immediately. Yeah. Look at the gap between the Wolverhampton to Uber. This gap to pick the pass here. It's too huge a gap. Mm. Last week, I spoke about the two centre-backs or the back four or back three not being more than 10 yards apart. Look at the distance between these two. If you were to complete that triangle, absolutely unacceptable. Yeah. Absolutely unacceptable. So leaving too many spaces too behind. Many. The spaces are too huge. And at this level, if you leave a Brazilian international <laughs> to pick such a very routine, simple yeah. pass. Chicky ease. He would do it with chicky ease all day. Kudusas clearly understand the Paketa has got the ability. Again, I will pause it and then let me roll it back a little bit. Watch. When Zuma picks up the ball here and gives it to what? Paketa. Paketa controls the ball and Kudus is always on yeah. the move. You see? Sorry. When he picks up the ball, Kudus again didn't look. Watch. Zuma intercepts the ball. He gives it to Paqueta. Watch the Ghanaian. 
boom, he's going. Yeah, he's not even run. looking. Yeah. Because he's seen the gap. He's seen that huge gap between the back three of Wolverhampton. So let me attack them. Now, this time around, um, the center back, the center back of Wolverhampton did so well. He virtually prevented Kudus from cutting onto his left yeah. foot. So one would have said that. Look, once he's got onto his unfavorable foot, he's given the goalkeeper a chance. But look at the intelligence of the Ghanaian. He knew that any level, any height mm. given to the ball welcomes the goalkeeper to make it safe. So let me put it down, carpet grades. Watch. You see that the goalkeeper makes a move. The moment he moves, then he that foot yeah. with which he moves, you cannot do this and do this at the same time. Yeah, sure. So the moment you move there, bah, he places the ball there. And that is absolutely wonderful. Look, my point here is very simple. In the Black Stars, unfortunately <laughs> for Ghanaians, Muhammad Kudus will be the one in the Paqueta role. role. Rather distributing the passes, not at the receiving He end. will be picking the ball yeah. from, let's say, a party or from, let's say, a, a Baba Idris. Yeah. He will be picking that ball. So he will not be advanced like we see him very advanced in the West Ham setup. Okay. You will have the likes of Inaki Williams and Cole that advanced. Mm. If Kudus was Paqueta, would he have picked the pass? No, no. We're talking about it offset. Yeah. I don't think he would have done that. He would have dwelled on the ball. He would have taken the first touch, second touch, third touch. The and moment hold on you to the overly ball. touch yeah. the ball, you are giving the opponents the opportunity to recover their shape and form a defensive block. Mm. So if Chris Hilton and the people are watching, maybe, maybe, this is what some of us have been calling for. We're uh, talking about it offset. Yeah. And I think that the other Ghanaian player who could be playing like Paqueta for Kudus to move high up the pitch, mm -hmm. If you know Kujas Samoa, you go, but he's no yeah. longer playing. That's so the only Ghanaian Gana player who should be doing that is Afred Duncan. Afred, okay. Somebody who touches the ball only twice. Watch Duncan play in the, uh, in the Italian Serie A. He never dwells on the ball. Mm. He picks it up, he, p he passes it along. So if you can have somebody in that Pakete's role and Kudus high up the pitch for a player or for a national team that is struggling for goals, you want to, with the form this man is carrying, that hopefully he will bring into the AFCON. Mm -hmm. It will be better when you keep him high up the pitch. So get correct passes of the ball, who can get the ball to him as quickly as possible, mm -hmm. and we can only benefit as a national team in the AFCON. Because okay. we need to go to Cote d'Ivoire and make a very brilliant impact there. Well, so well. kudos to Mohamed Kudus. Look, we are all proud mm -hmm. of the young man, yeah. isn't it? He's making all of us <laughs> very, very proud. And That's if right. you see uh, his uh, trademark celebration now, yeah. we should probably get an advertising holding here. So <laughs> when you're starting the show, we can just uh, do all his windows. You know, yeah, just big, sits there. yeah, I mean, big stuff. And his Paketa is also joined, joining the group. Yeah, of course. You have to. Yeah. You have to. I you mean, remember when Asamaja was there and he was doing <laughs> and, 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 um, um, the, the former Dutch international yeah, uh, Zenden. Uh, Zenden. Zenden. Zenden, yeah. Zenden. You don't have an option. You have to join in the party. Only one go. You have to join in the party. So that's it. Well, <laughs> so that's uh, West Ham's uh, Mohamed Kudus uh, doing big things in the English Premier League. We like it. You should, you should see all the foreign tabloids writing about him. Great start from him. A very good start to life uh, at West Ham United. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, uh, we'll touch on the Italian Serie and uh, the Spanish La Liga. It's always an interactive show, so you can send in your thoughts on the, the WhatsApp text lines, just uh, what you think of Kudus's performance and everything that we've touched on so far. This is Cockard on City TV. My name is Gabby Ofa. I'm doing this with Coach Christopher Nimli and Edwin Kwakofi. We take a quick break. Don't change your doubt.